Hey guys, it's BenRob0329, and today we're picking right back up where we left off, but I've had a slight change of plans. While my original plan was to put the entire storage system kind of going back along the wall, I think that's going to be more of a pain in the long run because the more items we get, the further down we're going to have to go and the less space we're going to have for other things, and honestly, this thing is just a pain to try to move around in. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a big room probably in here because we have stuff like everywhere else and this is the only spot I'm going to have a decent amount of space on either side to do anything in. And I'm basically just going to make a big hallway going back. It's going to go down a bit so we don't end up going out the hill. And then we're going to have the storage system in there. All right, well, I have dug out this little hallway here, and I have two access doors, and an input chest, and a rejection chest. And the reason we have those is because we're gonna put all the items in on one side, and then they're gonna go around the sorting system, and eventually make their way through to the other side. And anything that doesn't get sorted is gonna go into this chest. That way we don't have items floating around that don't belong, and everything has a place to go in the end. Okay. This will be the first test to see if my high priority tube thing does what I think it should. So if I'm not mistaken, it should go up this side. And then go around. And then it should continue. I suppose I didn't really think that through, did I? Okay, this is the actual first test. And I bumped my mind. I need to put gold in here. Okay, now it should go up and around and down and over. And it just goes around in a loop and is never going to touch that center bit, is it? Hmm. There might be a better way to go about this. Okay. This is the insanity that is going to be required to make this compact of a storage system with this many items in this small of a space. And it's a little bit crazy so I'm gonna have go over it so items flow in from here and they go into this uh, sorting tube which has the red output turned off so that things can't flow back out then if the item doesn't match any of the inputs there will flow up through the top and down into the input of this one which is also turned off and if it doesn't match any of the inputs on there, or any of the outputs on there, it will go through the yellow and into the bottom one here. And if it doesn't match any of the ones here, it will go up to the input on this one. If it doesn't match any of the items there, it will go out. And these are in fact split into sections of three by three because that's the biggest I wanna to try to deal with. So now I would say that we should probably start putting items in here, uh, specifically the most commonly used ones grouped vaguely logically um, so I'm going to start doing that boring bit and I'll cut back when that's done okay I've run into a bit of a problem even with high priority tubes things just want to go right back out and it's very annoying so basically what's happening is things will come in here they'll be accepted they'll go down but then they'll keep going down and go right back out. And there's no way of saying, I don't want things to go back in green. I don't know why there isn't a way to say I don't want things going back in green. But apparently there isn't. But what I don't understand is why with high priority tubes, does it not... Sometimes it doesn't even loop around more than other, th other times. It just will sometimes still go right through. This is very annoying. What 
the heck? You are surrounded by high priority tubes. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is that I have to put sorting tubes on uh, every single one, and I really don't want to do that, but uh, yeah, I might have to. It's gonna suck, but might be my only choice. Well, time to rebuild this whole thing. And done. Well, everything except for the random assorted tools has been moved over into the storage system here. And yeah. <clears throat> it's obviously not everything we're ever going to craft or even everything perfectly sorted yet. Some things are kind of just tossed in there, especially at the beginning. Towards the end, I started to get a little bit more organized and then just kind of gave up at the end when you have the random bits of stuff. But uh, yeah, we have corner lighting going on because it's honestly just easy. Uh, the rejected chest isn't put in yet, but yeah, this thing is a lot more expensive and a lot more compact than I was expecting it to be. So yeah, that's a thing. Essentially, it's just everything has a sorting tube, just everything, and it will weave its way in here and down and over and up and over because I have all but just the output into the drawer and the output into the next uh, tube turned off. So it will just weave its way through each and every one of them and it'll take absolutely forever, but whatever. Somebody needs to make a, um, a group cards thing for Pipeworks. That'd be really helpful to sort things into segments and then be able to break them off from there. Yeah, and then they're kind of generally labeled more natural bits, uh, sorted blocks, assorted plants and seeds, more crafted bits, crafted bits, food, nature, Pipeworks, ores, then rails, blocks, bulks, and then more blocks and odd stuff. But yeah, this was expensive. I had to go mining for probably half an hour to an hour to get more meats, uh, which I actually can just go ahead and probably craft up into that. And then, yeah. I'm going to start on the smelting system because let's face it, we're gonna have a lot of stuff to smelt soon ish um and i'm just gonna put it over here because honestly this is handy although maybe not at the same time i kind of like this being the dedicated storage system so um i could put the smelting system back here in this big open space just because it's kind of not being used for anything that might be best. Can just come in from having been in the mine, dump stuff off, let it smelt, go sort all the other bits into the sorting system, and then, yeah, that might be best. And then this can even have its output just go directly into the sorting system. All right, well, the general idea behind the smelting system is that if we split each furnace into a set of pairs, the items will go randomly between the two outputs, because that's how Pipework sorts items. Um, if the outputs are next to each other, it'll just choose them kind of every other item. And therefore, if we do that, we can actually have the whole thing be split perfectly evenly and use all the furnaces at once. All right, this will be the first test of this mess. So I should just be able to send a bunch of sand out. And I should just kind of split between everything.
Now the main problem I see here is that these two furnaces are going to get the majority of stuff. Unless we structure this a little bit more smartly into strict pairs. And have it essentially be a giant branching tree. Hmm. Okay, well after that test, I think I want to do this a little bit slower. And we'll take it a little bit slower and try to design this somewhat modularly. So the first thing to do with the smelting system is we need a way to eject all the items from this chest without having a clock constantly running because that would lag things. And the way I believe I'm going to do it is to have a detector tube send a signal back to this ejector so that once it's activated once, it will continue to activate until there are no more items. There we go. That seems to be doing what I want. Alright, up next we're going to need to make our furnace modules. So, those are going to have to be uh, one node off the ground and four wide. Although I suppose considering how we're going to have to make this, it would probably make more sense to put the input in the exact center. Alright, I think that that should probably do the trick. Now I just have to build the actual modules. Alright, um, all 16 furnaces are hooked up, so time to see if this spreads evenly. Bring in 89 sand. Excuse me, but what? Alright, 16 sand should be one in each. Um, why are those going backwards? Oh. Because I messed this up. This one should be golden. seems to have cleared out quite a bit faster than that one actually. Should be exactly one in every single one of these. And there it is. Beautiful. But unfortunately that is all the time I'm going to have for today. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like this video please hit that like button and comment down below for what you'd like to see in a future video. Thanks for watching.